Hey, y'all. Okay, let's look and see how long ago this was. This was like early April when I was supposed to do the 6,000 subscribers video and answer some of your questions. Took a while. Took a while. Plus, I had to like go back through my phone and find all the questions. So, the intention was I was going to be able to have the little questions down at the bottom for you to be able to see who asked them and whatnot. But it ain't going to work that way because I don't have my usual editing stuff. So, sorry. I've got a handful of questions, a stain on my shirt. I don't know where that came from. Repping that epoxy though, they're so amazing. So let's get into this, okay? The first one came from Allegra Yardini and she said, how do you make a reaction so the other people can watch what you're watching? Well, originally when I started doing reaction videos, I used the Reactor TV app that's no longer in existence. And then I would record with my iPad and my phone and kind of sync the two together. But I now use iSkySoft, which is pretty good. But there's a lot of different systems out there to be able to make a video. And you download the YouTube video. I use a free downloading uh, website and I cut and paste it right into the video and sync the volume so that it's not off. But I do watch it in real time and then add the video afterwards. Let's see, the next one is from Taylor Farmer. She asks, when was the moment you realized you truly enjoy K-pop and Korean culture? Love you and congratulations on 6K. Your Opas will be proud. <laughs> Only have two Opas. Uh, one is in the industry, one isn't. Well, I got a few other Opas, but none of them are, are actual idols. Um, but uh, when was the moment you realized you truly enjoyed it? Um, when I went to my very first KCON in 2013, that was the moment. I was just so blown away by how amazing everything was. But Korean culture, I was into that. Um, I was into that regardless of whether or not I realized it when I lived in Los Angeles in 2009. Being able to experience the food and uh, just the social camaraderie was very interesting but it's very much a part of my life now it's not some hobby this is this is how I live yes I'll always be a black girl I'll always have my black girl swag and my black girl magic and <laughs> I pay attention to other aspects of my life and other cultures that are infused in my life there's there's Creole there's uh, Hispanic uh, there is uh, some Caucasian by marriage. I intend on doing my DNA one of these days to find out just what all my makeup is, but I'm very, very serious about this and I do my best not to appropriate. I try to show respect and keep a healthy distance between anything that could be confused as anything less. Likewise, uh, Ariana Davis asked, what made you become so interested in K-pop and the Korean culture? I got interested in it because I am a music junkie. I'm not very big on watching TV. I, I love movies, but there's literally a handful of shows I watch but I love music virtually any type any genre with the exception of country I still just I I just can't so uh, that made me interested in the music and I just previously answered about the culture but the thing that makes me stay interested in it is the fact that um, it's historically rich it's a culture that went through a lot of plight the not too different from that of my own culture so there are some social economical uh, similarities as well as some cultural similarities that I'm very intrigued by oh yeah she also asked uh, what made me want to start YouTube I started YouTube because I wanted to keep a vlog of my insomnia I have very very terrible sleep issues <laughs> and when I got into k-pop that pretty much turned it all around unexpectedly um, Alyssa Nerdiful asked what propelled you to learn Hangul or Korean she said for her it was BTS um, I love languages I find them to be very interesting because it's the best way for you to connect with someone either speak what they speak eat what they eat or listen to the music that they listen to that's how you bond regardless of your languages but obviously the the epitome would be learning the language um, I'm just um, it's interesting it's scientifically amazing and it is the only language that we know the actual origin of the reason of its development uh, its foundations and it's it's just a phenomenal language look into the history of it aside from just the music lyrics as you look at or what you hear from subtitles uh, 
and please try to avoid romanization uh that's something that you actually find out after the fact that it can kind of hinder you but it's not so much of a hindrance that you won't be able to consume the language so hopefully if you're still out there studying it you're very consistent about it don't be hard on yourself if you can't speak it today i've been studying it for four years and I'm nowhere near fluent and I still speak very informally at times, but I understand more and more as I go. Geese Juggler asked if me and the Just Life were close growing up. Very, very much so. Our birthdays are very close to one another as well. So um, she's my, my sister. She's my best friend. And even though she's on the other side of the globe and we travel all over the place, her between Croatia, uh, Paris, Germany, the United States, and I'm just starting to get outside of North America. Um, we speak almost every single day. I'm very grateful for the technology that exists now so that we can keep in touch. Um, what's the next one? We have something from Dawoon Lee. My question is, what was the first Korean thing you got to know? Is it K-pop or something else like food? And do you like Korean snacks? Congratulations on 6K. I really love your videos. Well, thank you very much. The first thing I got into was the food, and it was galbi. I didn't know that's what it was called then, but I got into the food first. I got into the food when I lived in L.A. in Koreatown, and I still go to some of my favorite uh, Korean restaurants whenever I come into the city. Then it was the dramas, then it was the music, and I don't do the drama so much now, but definitely the food is the thing that pulled me in. Let's see, Gamble CA7, sorry if I said it wrong, ask if you can do a reaction video collaboration with any other K-pop reactor that you never met before, who would you choose? Um, <laughs> well, luckily in the United States, I've met you know the predominant ones because we always link up at KCON and things uh, and I've had the opportunity to do collabs with some of my faves and, and some of my buddies now um, and I'm older than the majority of them anyway so I'm kind of everybody's K-pop on the K-pop Nuna um, someone that I haven't I've never collabed with K Spazzing even though uh, we did a panel together in KCON 2014 in LA it would be nice to do one with them. Um, there was another person, genuinely, literally, like today I was going through my contacts as someone who's out in Los Angeles. He's an actor, black guy. He does reactions with his family and his friends and whatnot. And I had his contact information to try to link up with them and I, I can't find it. So that kind of kind of bums me out a little bit <laughs> okay we have blue 1928 said do you have a favorite or memorable fangirl moment experience by the way love your videos thank you um it's way too many to count uh <laughs> uh working backwards i guess um being able to see mama moo at this year south by southwest and one of my best friends got me uh the the moo moo the actual radish and I was just shaking the mess out of it in front of the, the girls. I'm a huge fan of theirs. Um, being like as close as I am to this iPad, to Mithra Jan and Epic High, uh, being able to be that close to Crayon Pop, uh, Got Seven, that whole Jinju's Got Seven in Chicago segment that I did, that was, that was everything. Um, interviewing Kim Jong Cook and haha ha. I mean there, there's a lot of moments um, but I guess the the two well the three the three would be the guy seven in Chicago uh, number two would be my very first KCON and just how overwhelming it was and how I'm still friends with some of those people from the 2013 one like I'm a veteran in this you know and then number one realizing that you all the Megualas is a genuine fan base and you all are engaged and care about what's going on in my life and want to share your lives with me um, that's a fangirl moment that is incredible you all are all over the world you get excited to hear from me see me in person and things of that sort we get the hang out if you will on Twitter and have a lot of fun that way so that's a good fangirl moment for me um uh Emmy who is also a newly minted k-pop radio DJ you need to check her out she said um 
Let's see, Jinju Oni, I'm new to the whole K-pop scene and your videos and K-com panels are very insightful. Thank you for me and many others. I love your reactions and vlogs, so 6K is well deserved. My two questions, uh, question one, Got7 is coming to the States for their tour in July. Which shows are you going to? Everybody has been asking. I am definitely going to the Dallas one because I have not experienced that with the Dallas crowd. But so far it looks like people in Chicago and Atlanta are pushing the hardest for me to be there. I will announce where the second location is that I'm going as soon as I can figure it out. There are still some some things in the works that I haven't decided if I'm going to three stops or just two. Uh, the second question she has is how will you be spending your time in Korea? Well, I intend on doing vlogs about that and you will have to wait until I edit all of that so you all can see it the way that I intend for you to see it instead of me using my iPad to do iMovie right now. Um, but you can go to blackandkorea.com and this week you can read my articles about some of the food reviews and then on multifacetedacg.com you'll be able to read the new blog that'll be on there that'll have some other stuff that I didn't share with that. But I'll announce all of that when it happens, okay? <laughs> So yeah, that's all I got. Oh yeah, okay, there's, there's one other question and it's not on here. It was from people in general. What am I doing right now that I am out of Texas? I'm currently consulting on a movie script. How amazing is that? Can't get into details. That's not important yet, but I will keep you all as updated as I can as things progress. So that's it. I answered the questions. Finally, this was fun. <laughs> Bye, y'all.